<laughs> Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister, Ginny, and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author, Gilderoy Lockhart, was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh! I think the car's cutting out! Come on, car! Come on! Willow's got me! 
Why? Don't worry, Ron. I'll come and get you. Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. <laughs> to climb over low walls, I just have to walk into them. Uh, 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 I can uh, use this gargoyle as a target to activate the Lumos spell. Lumos! This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. I bet I can pass for Plendo on that luggage to push it to that ledge. Plendo! Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! A chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some of your stamina. They also taste delicious. can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, no! Come back! Great. My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. Uh, 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 uh. To jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour uh, beans. I should collect as uh, many as I can. They'll come in handy uh, later. Cast for a pendo to push the block towards me, and then uh, use it to jump to this ledge. Uh, 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 This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. 